So welcome back everybody, Mike here. This is day two of the beautiful weather. And I know it's not gonna last, so I'm gonna take advantage of this while it's here. I just got home from work and I got about uh, an hour and a half of daylight left. So I'm gonna dig some stumps, but first I gotta clean up all these treetops. The grapple works fantastic. It really does. But anyway, now I'm gonna try this backhoe out on digging some stumps out. Now one thing to keep in mind, a backhoe on a tractor is not comparable to a mini excavator. If you've seen some of my other videos, I've rented a uh, Bobcat E42, and it really does a job. That, that machine's probably 10,500 pounds, maybe 11,000 pounds, something like that. There's really no comparison between an excavator and a backhoe on a tractor. However, this backhoe costs $5,500 and that mini excavator is probably $65,000, give or take. So an excavator costs roughly 10 to 12 times as much as this. So for, you know, just on your own property, if you need a backhoe occasionally, this is a great backhoe to have. If you were doing this every single day, you would want to get a mini excavator and find a way to pay for that $65,000 machine. But anyway, when I approach stumps, they're a pain in the neck. They really are. Uh, some people grind them. Like if I'm in my yard, for example, I have a buddy with a stump grinder. I could get him to grind those stumps off and just get them below the ground a little bit. But in areas where I'm doing like food plots and things like that, I like to get the whole thing out. That way, if you're disking it up or running a tiller over it, all the roots are gone 
And uh, so I like to dig them out and burn them. And I always make sure when I'm burning them that I have a big bunch of brush to go with it to keep the fire nice and hot, keep feeding stumps on it, more brush, and, and do it that way. And a lot of times when I'm cutting these little trees down, I'll leave the stumps about two or three feet out of the ground. I know people have asked why I do that, and that's for leverage when I'm uh, trying to pull the stumps out. Now one thing to keep in mind, when you're digging stumps out, it's kind of like going to battle, except the stumps aren't shooting at you, which that's a good thing. Uh, but you know, you need to think it through and find its weakness. Don't just start wrenching on the stump. It's probably not going to come out. I mean, you can test it out a little bit, but I like to start the outsides and start popping roots, you know, and, and every little root you pop makes it weaker and weaker. Work your way around it every once in a while, give it a little tug and see how it is. And eventually it will come out. I've seen people, you know, with their front loader on a tractor, they'll get frustrated and they back up and start ramming it. You don't want to do that. You will tear up your loader arms and tear up your tractor and it's not worth it over a stump. So you just take your time. There's some things with a tractor, especially like fine grading or digging stumps out. Sometimes the slower you move, the quicker you will actually get done. And uh, I know that doesn't make sense, but it's true. But anyway, I'm going to start on this stump here by just uh, starting around the outsides of it, pop a few roots out, and see how it goes. That actually went faster than what I thought it would. Maybe five minutes total to get those two stumps out. That's not bad at all. Now the one was real small, maybe three inches in diameter, and the other one was about eight inches. But you could see that's a pretty big root ball for even an eight inch cherry tree. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, you just want to take your time and kind of get to know the stump. I know that sounds silly, but that's what you need to do. You give it a little tug. You know, reach around all the sides of it, pop those roots. Every root that you pop makes it weaker and weaker and weaker. And you just keep doing that and give it another tug. And look all around it. When you're pulling on that stump, you'll see a little bit of ground lift up somewhere. It might be on the back side or right in front of you. That's where there's a main root. And so you want to break that root out next. And you just keep doing that, take your time, and they pop right out. Uh, you know, if I had a 32 inch oak tree, I'd probably be up here half a day trying to get that out of here but it's the same method whether you're running a backhoe like this or an excavator or whatever. Just work the roots in from the outside, keep feeling your way around there, and in no time you'll have that stump out of there without tearing anything up. If you're using your loader on the front of your tractor, uh, you know, you really want to be careful. Uh, don't get frustrated and don't start ramming it or anything like that. You're just going to tear things up and that won't be good, especially if you're hitting it on one side of the bucket or the other and not, you know, right in the middle. 
if you hit it on one side, you're, you're twisting everything. So you don't want to do that. But anyway, if you have a uh, tractor and you get a backhoe, I hope this is a little bit helpful if you've never dug stumps before. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe and hit the like button and share them with your friends. Thanks.